you're sitting on one of the fastest growing mm. countries in Asia. Is that sustainable? Can you achieve six and a half to seven and a half percent growth for the year, for instance? I think so. I think uh, well, much of much of the policies that we uh, that we uh, uh, taken on are are really to 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 spur growth. Uh, that is part of the most. That's the most important part because it is only growth that will pull us out of uh, this the, the morass that was left after the pandemic. And uh, even in terms of inter, even in terms of debt ratios, even in terms of uh, uh, unemployment, in, in terms of inflation, it really is growth. It, it, that, 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 that seems to be the key. Is it sustainable if we continue down this road, if we defend all of the things that we are doing? I believe it is. Um, I believe it is. If we are also agile in terms of responding to the shocks that come up, come up uh, from, other, from, from the outside, uh, to put it that way, uh, shocks that we cannot control or can have very little influence over, if any. So that's the, that will be the key. It's a six-year term. Do you think you can get to 8% within oh. six years that you're in office? Sure. Why not? Um, uh, you know, uh, there, there's no... We plan, we always plan for the ideal. We don't plan for uh, the, a, a mediocre result. We plan for a very good result. Um, and as I said, we just have to adjust along the way as we, as we uh, uh, continue to, to transform the economy. But yes, I, I think it is. I think it is doable. Several banks are currently in focus because of interest rates. In the Philippines, rates are at, I think, 17-year highs. How much room is there for you to cut rates, or rather the BSP to cut rates? We're still battling inflation. Uh, inflation is still our biggest uh, problem. Uh, that we, and when you, when you separate core inflation to inflation that involves agri-products, for example, uh, you can see that the core inflation, we're doing rather well in terms of controlling it. But again, these, these shocks that keep coming in. But still not quite the time to cut rates because inflation is still sticky. Perhaps uh, it, it, we, we look at it all, almost every, every week uh, to see if it's time to, to, to bring down the rates. We are not yet there. Yeah. And the peso at a three-month high? Are you comfortable with I'm so, the, the peso? The, the peso? The peso at a three yes, high, because it's an indication of the strength of the economy. Uh, there is a downside to it for the Philippines because of our overseas workers, where the dollar is worth a little less than it normally would be. But uh, I, I see it as an, as an affirmation that the economy has, has grown stronger. Um, and that is that's a, all, the, one of those uh, obvious tests. And the dollar, I mean, it, it, of course, because it's a relative, it's a relative uh, measure, uh, the dollar has not, has not depreciated. Uh, so if we are, uh, if our, the value of the peso is increasing, then that is a good indication that, uh, again, the economy has, uh, has gained strength.